you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're still on the Taiju Baby Face Show, and we bring you nothing but the kings. When we started, we brought you vintage kings, established kings. We brought you new kings. But our new calling, as I always tell you, I have a new calling. I have a passion to speak to those of the house of entertainment. Encourage, motivate, empower young people using entertainment as a lens. So it follows that we must speak to the new kings of entertainment. The performer coming is one of those. In uh, what seems to be a short time, he has gone from relative obscurity. In a few years, he's now one of the biggest names on the African continent and indeed the rest of the world. And he's a good looking, he is a good looking young man. It gives me absolute pleasure to bring to you, on the Taiju Baby Facial, for the first time, one of the kings of African music. Please make welcome Mr. Kore De Bello. <laughs> Change my name to God you win. I no more, I don't buy more to God you win. They say my market no go sell for God you win. And then be say I no go pro for God you win. Them yeah, my brother, make them try their luck. My God you win, no my God you win, no my Lord you win, no. Exam, now God you win. Yeah. And then me say you no go pass for God you win. Yeah. You work all city with the last song, now God you win. Uh -huh. Robbers, they rob, they don't see you. God you win. They don't see you, my sister. Oh, you yeah, have a robber. God you win. Oh, my God you win. Oh, my God you win. God you win, and you don't tell you they fine for God you win. See we go pop champagne today, God you win. And we go they dance, 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 cause God you win. Oh, anything you win, now God you win. And if you win the election, my brother, God you win. Like if you win the contract, my friend, now God you win. And if you check the countdown, my brother, God you win. And if your market say le 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 Stay tuned for more because the Teju Baby Face Show will be back after these messages. Yo, hi, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Orezi, aka Alaji Orezi, and you're watching Teju Baby Face Show. Don't go nowhere. Boom! Thank you. Corey De Bello is still on the Teju Baby Face show. It's not often that we ask for two helpings. Two fantastic songs. Thank Absolutely you. wonderful songs. Absolutely. You, I, I, I saw you uh, at the Muson Center not too long ago. Yes, and, and I said to you that there's somebody you look like. I, I, you thought it was Michael Jackson. You said it's you're not, going to tell me when I come. Yeah, I said I was going to tell you when you come on the show. It's not Michael Jackson. Has anybody ever told you that you don't only look like, but you have the mannerisms of Chris Okoti? Ah, 
Have you heard that before? <laughs> you have never. No, I have never. You have never. Anybody old enough to have seen Chris Okoti when he was grooving? You look like a younger, and I was young, you look like a younger Chris Okoti. And when you consider that he was, as we were told, uh, the first or one of the first to have his video shot in London. Hmm. So when I see Romantic, I'm like, this boy is following Maybe, in the... You know, God is pointing me in one direction. God is pointing you, you might be a minister. Uh, <laughs> never know. But you're very good looking. You don't look half as good Thank on television. Sir. Did you know this? Really? Yes, you don't. Uh, is it me that is feeling like that? You don't, you don't, I mean, you look not half as good. You don't look... You know, as fine on it. That's what I'm saying. It. Maybe my girls are not telling me enough. Uh, maybe who is not telling you? Your girls. And, well, <laughs> just joking. No, well, just don't joke. joke. We're coming to that. We're <laughs> going to joke. There's a young man in the audience. Is that your brother? There's a guy that looks it's like him. Please stand. My friend and my dancer. Is your friend and your dancer? Yeah. Stand. Let them see you now. There's some guy. There's some. Uh, there's some guy in the audience who looks. There was like a person that looks like Corey Debello. In fact, when we were coming, actually, because he was sitting by the passenger seat, he okay. was sitting in front, okay. and um, like they wound down to ask for directions to get here. Okay. And the woman that was as soon as she was telling the other guys, "Kori did it, Kori did it." I was like, <laughs> and even and coincidentally, the real Kori did it is at the back. She didn't see the Kori. I mean, but look, but you have become huge. Thank you. Uh, you have become huge. What seems to most of you can clap for that. You have become huge. That's my yeah. boy. Thank what you, seems like most of us to be all of a sudden? What is your story? I mean, how do you go from? I mean, okay, so let me ask you this to just give it perspective. Okay. This is 2016. Where were you in 2012? Whoa. How have you come? Where were you? Were you this superstar in 2012? Uh, no. Probably. Okay, so what is the story? How have you come thus far? From 2012. Yes. From I, I just want to know the immediate. What was the thing? What was the move that has brought you thus far? What changed your life? Okay. Um Post-2012, it was something mm. around 2010 okay. when I put out my first official single. It's called I Love Ninja. So many of you might have heard it. You know, Yo from Wazobi, I used to play it a lot back then. And um, it's a patriotic song. And um, yeah, it was a, my first shot at limelight or, you know, a fame. So that was when I started. A lot of people gave me, you know, opportunities like yourself, I remember. And, uh, you know, I used to go for shows also backstage. You know, not every time they get to, I get to perform, but you know, we stay backstage. Yeah, hope for our day. So you have done that whole backstage, uh, hoping for your time to come. Uh, you have done that time. whole somebody coming off stage and you are saying, "Bros, bros, uh, your fans." You have done that. Ah, uh, plenty times. Did you meet do any it, time through other time? Of course, of course. Was I nice? Please tell me I was nice. Well, you know, because your personality already is 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 works for you, so you're always nice. Thank you, I, I am nice, I am no, no, I'm nice. But um, yeah, I, I believe everybody has um, a story. Um, some might be like mine and some might be, you know, even better or worse than mine. Uh, but I can assure you that it's the glory of God, the grace of God. And God this okay, so uh, let's talk God, I, I'm still coming back. You put remind me. Because I write the questions down, but when I get here, the Spirit of God, you know, it, it, I don't know how they say in Missy in uh, English. In Missy. Inspiration. Inspiration. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. <laughs> Inspiration. So yeah. I digress. You're talking God now. Uh, something happened on social media a while ago. You went somewhere to perform, yeah. and there was all the furor about how would you call what happens or what looks like a secular artist to perform in a church. That was what he did. He went to perform in a church, and there was all the thing on Twitter, how will he perform? And then a man that you might or might not have met came to your defense, Mr. Leke Older. Very true. Who happens to be my mentor. My so, mentor as well. Mr. Leke Older is now your mentor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but prior to that time, I didn't know him. Prior to that time, I didn't, I didn't know him personally. Yes. But he stood up for me and I was like, wow. Wow, he said he met you on a flight going to yes, Abuja later. Yes, flight. Yeah, I didn't even know it was him in the I didn't know it was him. So someone told me that. I was like, thank you very much. And it was, it was very, he's a very nice man. He's a nice I one. I follow him on Twitter, so you should too. Okay. Inspirational stuff. It's good for everybody. <laughs> okay, good. So this is what I want to know. I, are you aware that your song is in some way gospel? Because I, 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 I understand a bit more. And I know that singing for God is not when you wave your hands in the air every time and say, we, we worship, we bless you, hallelujah. That, that is good for what that is good for. But I mean, when you hear the lyrics of the song, I don't get a lot. God, everything you do, God wins. I mean, how, how else do you praise God? So I'm asking you this. When you were doing that, did you have that at the back of your mind that this is a song for God and about God? This is a very, very beautiful topic and question because it's very sensitive. Uh, I went to the house of God to praise God. 
But um, about the song itself, it's the way God works, and I'm sure a lot of artists watching this can testify to it. Sometimes you just don't know how the songs come. You don't know the, the length and breadth at which they can go. Sometimes the ones that you think are the ones that are going to blow are not the ones that are going to blow. But for God and God is a very, very powerful song that is beyond just a three minutes material. It's, it's very spiritual stuff that I, I till today don't understand how it came about. But Godwin is an attestation of the fact that everything that I do, everything that you do, eventually God wins. It's God mm. that enables us to win. Yeah. I, I don't know how to I don't know how to translate that to you to tell you that this is a gospel song or it's not a gospel song. But to you, if you sing the song, you sing the words of the song and it feels to you like you're praising God, then it is gospel. It means that I'm I'm, I'm God is using me to preach something. I don't know if it's gospel, but it's using me to preach something. So um Oh, some skip my head right now, but um, yes, Godwin. I can't remember the last time people played a song in a club that that God was mentioned more than four times in the song. But Godwin is a song that had mm. God mentioned more than Godwin. more oh, than only me did they join. But also my head swelled. Say that again. You can't remember the last time that you were in a club and God was mentioned, but Godwin yeah. brings Godwin, God to you. Exactly, Godwin was mentioned. I can't remember how many times, but maybe almost fifty times in that song. Mm. And it means that the gospel is being spread. So yeah, I believe God. God is. Are you getting God it now? Do you get it? Are you getting it? Yeah. Are, you, are you getting it now? Yeah. That is bringing God to the. That is what was meant when it was like go out and spread the gospel, reach all the nations. It's not exactly. I don't want to go into that uh, deep song. But I like that song, Sha. Thank I, you. I much. like that song. I, I, I just and love I will that song. Definitely I, uh, over and I will definitely go and praise God in his house with that song, what he blessed me with. Wow, wow. I, I want to ask you, what is a belover? Well, a belover is a belo lover. A belover is a belo family. It's, it's, it's a fandom. It's what my fans call themselves. So it's, it's, it's a conjunction of belo and lover, like belo lover. So if you appreciate Corey Bello's music, you appreciate his works, you like how he looks, you like his songs, even if you don't like everything, you like one. Yeah, I be lover. And, uh, yeah, really. I'm God in this for you. <laughs> so, like Justin Bieber has the believers. Exactly, Justin Bieber has the has believers. The believers. I hear this thing in the song. I'm like, Koro be lover, and I God win. I'm like, ah. I mean, I put the Koro part myself, but you know, I said, what is a belover? Is this boy supposed to be a Yoruba boy? It, it sounds Belova. like as as God as uh, Don Jazzy put something. Sir, as I was wondering if Don Jazzy had put something. Oh. Uh, speaking of which, how did you come to the attention of Don Jazzy? Okay. Um. I think about 2012, I think it's 2012, that was my last birthday, four years ago. Um, I put out a song called Forever, uh, pre-belovers <laughs> that knew me back then would know the song. But um, it was a song that got Jazz's, Don Jazzy's attention. Um, I was introduced to someone that introduced me to Don Jazzy. Or my music was introduced to Don Jazzy before I met him in person, but um, I had a team with me that was helping me back then, uh, a label so, of some sort and um, a management team that okay. you know that we got introduced to Don Jazzy together. And he, we, I met him in the studio. I had some like a mini interview. He asked me questions. In fact, he was singing my song. He was singing this forever song, like word for word. And I was like, Don Jazzy, it's my Lori TV. <laughs> singing my song. My <laughs> blown yeah. But um, he, he encouraged me. He said. In his words, he said he sees uh, a lot of potentials in me and he'd like to work with me. And, uh, yeah. and the rest is history, as they say. God fantastic. God Absolutely will. fantastic. <laughs> God will. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Corey, it's, um, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. I have one more question for you. Yes, That's the challenge every time I have somebody who is such an interesting and gifted personality. I tell myself that our interview lasts not more than 10 minutes. It, it never usually lasts more than 10 minutes anywhere in the world. 10, 15 minutes tops. But when, when I get people like you, then it goes on and on. So I wonder where I'm going to put all this. So I have one more question for you. Okay, sir. Uh, there have been, I've been around here for quite a while. I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I've been doing this for quite a while, entertainment, on yeah, the hustle, power. Yeah, power. on the move for quite a while. And I've noticed in that time that musicians come and they go. Hmm. They come and they go. 
Some come and they look like they will never go. And in that time, they misbehave, they do all kinds of things, and, and eventually they go. Hmm. Nobody lasts forever. Nobody. However, there are some exceptions to the rule. They seem to last, they seem to cheat the decades. They always have a single every other year. We know them, no need to mention names. But they are the one percent. They are in the one percentile. Hmm. What are you going to do <laughs> to make sure that in 10 years' time, you're still on this show, having lived 10 years with singles in every year, hits every year in 15 years' time. What are you going to do different? Have yes. you figured it out? Because I think I need you. I think I think you need to clap. For That's a very, a very deep question, and um, I thank God you're giving people an opportunity to watch this because a lot of artists mm -hmm. out there and um, budding artists that want to become legends. First, I think you need to have good genes like him. To cheat the decades. Yeah, good jeans. <laughs> good you jeans. need to have good jeans, not turn jeans like this. Ah, you know, like good <laughs> jeans, you know. But um, to be honest, to be sincere, um, I didn't bring myself here. Uh, God brought me here. And um, I believe that everybody has a purpose. Everybody has a purpose. The cameraman taking my pictures right now has a purpose, has a life purpose. The person, you know, you guys, everybody in here has a purpose, has a life purpose. And when you understand your purpose, you'll be able to see beyond your present situation. Well, how do you know this? You're, you're too young. How do you know this? Are you like, human, how, how are I you mean, speaking I mean, on this level? I'm a human being, and I, to some extent, I believe, you know, I, I know God. So, um, of God has put it in me. No, I cannot say beyond that. But what I'm trying to say is, when, you, when you're in, a, in any field at all, you have you have a role to play there. You have a you have a you have a purpose, and sometimes we try to force timelines or create timelines for our mission. Sometimes you being here right now might be the reason. Just clapping for me or doing something or just making the comments might be the purpose. Just why you're here. You don't need to stay long. You don't need to stay sit down here from now to tomorrow before Mr. Teju knows that you are sitting down here. After the show is over now, everybody's going to go home. Your purpose is over. Nobody stays forever. Nobody lasts forever. You have to understand that whatever it is that you're doing right now, there are people that were doing it before you, and there are people that are going to do it after you. So that's where the purpose comes from. So it's totally up to God. What, what I think everybody, every artist especially, should pray for is that while I rain or while I blow or while I shine, that I should be able to achieve what God I set me to achieve. I don't need to try and extend, force myself to be here longer than I'm supposed to be here. And by here, I mean like the fame. Everybody comes and goes. But with the Corey de Bello brand, it's not just about music. So you will see my face a lot, actually. So yeah, I am currently the ambassador, first youth ambassador of Nigerian police. I also run an initiative. So I'm doing a lot of non music related stuff. Amazing. Thank Amazing. You, All things work well for the good of them who love God and are called Definitely. according to his Definitely. purpose. Definitely. Uh, when I started to tell you that uh, we were away for almost four years, not recording any new episodes, because we're trying to distill our deeper core uh, down in our conceptual definition for the Teju Baby Facial. And, and I told you that we wrote a book. I wrote a book called The Secrets of the Streets, 23 Secrets for uh, Achieving Success in the Entertainment Industry. And anyway, really, I mean, I, I didn't know that the kind of caliber of guests I would be bringing would say this kind of things. I could never have thought that you would say this kind of things. Thanks. I was just led of the spirit to bring you here and see the things that you have said. I must say that you're deep. I have a newly found level of respect for you. And he deserves another round of applause. Thank you, sir. My friend, stop doing... Uh, Look, sir. stop I doing think, this. I think it's, maybe it's the baby face <laughs> in front of your name. Like, they don't know the award, sir. <laughs> I know that, you know. I respect you, you this. Sir, a lot, sir. Thank you, your, I, I think... I, I think I mean, sometimes you need to share um, some secrets of your longevity or your staying power to your people. Ah, I will share before we go, you know, I'm sharing every day. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could literally, let me tell you, yes. there are some guests I struggle with and there are some I could just talk to all day. I mean, there, there are so many things I want to ask you. We haven't spoken relationships. We haven't spoken your daddy and your mommy, your family. We haven't spoken all sorts of things. I mean, we could literally do this. I mean, we've already broken limits. So mm -hmm. I, I'm hoping I'll have you back here because I get the impression you're going to have a long and fruitful career. Amen. And so the next time you're here, not too long from now, we'll be singing another set of songs, another new set of hits, and you'll even be bigger than you are right now. Amen. And everybody said, Amen! Yeah. All right. Uh, before you go, a hallmark of our show is that uh, uh, while we're speaking, uh, my friends at Lagos In Your Face, it's an online portal. Lagos In Your Face, your online portal for all the social happenings in Lagos. 
they take our picture. Okay. Not while you were performing, not when you were coming in. While we were speaking, okay. they take the picture, they frame the picture, oh. and they present the picture to you. Now, I've can you please... Uh, I've seen it on your show. You've seen it on my show, okay. Yeah. Uh, now, usually, no, see, I'm going to bring it to you. Now, usually when I do this, uh, we do it in post-production, and sometimes people don't believe that the picture has been framed on set. So I like the cameraman to come the in. Holy Spirit and the Holy person that uh -huh, uh -huh. I said, I said, everybody has a purpose. Uh -huh. See, the person captured me when I was saying amen. Amen. Can you see? Uh, Lagos in your face. Uh, so go to lagosinyourface.com for all your uh, social happenings. And this is for you, Mr. Corey Debelo. Thank you, sir. Uh, memento from the Teju Baby Face Show. Thank, Thank you very much for coming. God bless you. We'll be right back on Teju Baby Face Show. Corey Debelo, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. For more, because the Teju Baby Face Show will be back after these messages.